In this video tutorial, we're going to introduce the concept of a robust regression. So when we run a normal linear regression, we run our regression on the data, we have our dependent and independent variables, and we get our output. Now, where a robust regression differs from this is that we want to account for certain outliers in our data. And because outliers can skew our data, we want to find a way to be able to adjust the weightings that our model is assigning to each observation. So by doing this, we are accounting for the fact that we have outliers in our data set and we're compensating accordingly. So first of all, let's load our libraries. And as per usual, if you don't have these libraries installed on your R environment, you use install.packages. So for example, if you want to install mass, you would use that. We'll load our data set. And in this particular data set, we're going to be examining internet usage. You can see that here we have different levels of internet usage, which we're measuring in megabytes. So you can see that we have a range of usage per week. Some it's as low as 500 megabytes. Some people um, use over 100,000 megabytes. So you can see that we have some high outliers there. And what we want to do is we want to run a robust regression to be able to determine what weightings we should be assigning to these outliers. So the first thing we'll do is plot what's called Cook's distance. So we're taking our dependent and independent variables. And you can see that we have two separate outliers here. And if we generate a QQ plot, you can see that some of our outliers don't fall onto the regression line. And then we have three outliers where we have three particular individuals who are using a lot of internet. So don't know what Netflix movies they're watching, but obviously their usage is a lot higher than the rest of the sample. So if we go ahead and run our OLS regression, you can see that we have our estimates, we have our significance readings, we see that we have a high degree of significance for the majority of our variables. We have a multiple R squared of 0.8371. So what we want to do is we want to be able to generate a regression that takes into account the fact that we have outliers in our data set. So what we're going to do is we're going to compute what's called Cook's distance. Now, you can see that for observations 966 and 965, we have distance readings that are a lot higher than the rest of our sample. And in particular for 966, we have a Cook's distance of greater than one. But for these three observations, you can see that these correlate with usage where, where internet usage is a lot higher than usual. So what, we're, what we'll do now is we will generate our standardized residuals. And you can see now that we have added to our data set Cook's distance and standardized residuals. And again, you can see that the higher the Cook's distance, the more extreme the outlier. So we can sort our data set in order of the standardized residuals. So if we look at the first 10 observations here, see that this is what we come up with. Now, we're going to run two different regressions. One, we're going to use Huber weights, and the other, we're going to use by square weighting. So if we run our Huber weights regression, you can see that we're using rr.huber, and we're taking our 
dependent and independent variables. And you can see here that our regression comes up with estimates, but taking Huber weights into account that adjusts for the outliers in our data set. Now, in terms of specifically how this is being done, you can see that we are using the Huber residuals and the Huber weights. And if we take a look here, you can see, for example, that for the highest usage, we have the lowest weight being assigned to that. So what the regression is doing is it's taking outliers that are well outside of the overall sample and it's assigning a lesser weight to them to account for the fact that they're going to skew our regression estimates. Let's see what happens now when we use a bi-square weighting. So this is a similar type of regression that's accounting for outliers in our data, but we're using bi-square weights as opposed to Huber weights. So let's go ahead and run this. And again, we're coming up with another generated output with our values, standard errors, T values, that's counting for the fact that we have outliers in our data set. And again, let's sort these by weight. You can see that for two particular observations, one of which is the highest level of internet usage, a weight of zero is being assigned, and then gradually greater weights are being assigned to those levels of usage that are more within the overall sample of our data set. So in this tutorial you've learned what is a robust regression and how we can apply a robust regression to solve the problem of having outliers in our model and adjusting the weights to make sure that we can get more standardized readings from our regression analysis. Many thanks for watching.